What's up everybody, Nayla here at Nalitech Studio. So today we are taking a look at the building of the year 2021. So if you are a follower of Arc Daily, link in the description, you get to choose your building of the year and you consider its beauty, intelligence, creativity and its service to the community. We have about 15 categories and you can see the winners for the office section, for the religious architecture, hospitality architecture, and the healthcare architecture. And what did stand out for me was this one right here, which is the Apple Central, located in Bangkok and designed by Foster and Partners. The question we are answering today is that, is it possible to model such a thing in Akikad? Well, I guess we have to find out in this video. Let's get started. So in this video, we are going to concentrate on this central tree trunk, the apple tree trunk, uh, which is uh, clad in warm wood paneling all the way from the base or the base. Actually, it spans from the basement up to the dripling at the extreme ends. So let's try and do that. And in order to get the scale right, I have attached in the description below the like button. Uh, this reference folder which contains the plan you can drag and drop it and the section as well so let's get these things uh, scaled up such that we sort of get this uh, true to the scale of the project one is that we have the scale here around so they are saying from here up to there should be 10 meters so using ctrl k as the shortcut or using right here from the standard toolbar, we can pick that and try to zoom in in order to get it as precise as we can all the way up to here. This should be about 10 meters. Great. So now we can, you know, position this thing in order to have something that looks good. Central replaced in that area. Now for this one as well, we have the scale here. So Ctrl K to rescale and then we begin from a point around here all the way to somewhere like there. Make sure you hold shift to keep it horizontal. And then we have this as 10 meters. Yeah, so now we have something close to what is in real life. It means that uh, if I press M to measure, height to from one slab to another slab that's around 5.5 uh, and actually we could do that for the stories if we go to story settings we can make sure to have the 5.5 because that's what the architect decided should be the story to story height of these uh, masterpiece so uh we have that all right and we say okay of course i was taken to the second floor i go back to the ground floor now for this structure here all i need is a reference line so i'm going to pick uh, it which is going to be the polyline and change the color to red such that it's easily identifiable and let's begin from right here and all the way to where the sort of curvature starts and I want to change to a polyline such that I'm able to get that kind of continuous line and I think it does terminate around here and then flattens all the way out to somewhere like there. What did I do? But we can remove that by control clicking. So we have ourselves that and using uh, one of these options, I think I'm going to pick this one right here where you can use tangential. Yeah, I don't need to get it exactly like the way it's here, but this is roughly the shape. And once I have that and I'm happy with it, I need now to know the radius of this circle. So the radius is here in the flow plan. So with the circle tool, I can decide to draw roughly and it should be about yeah, 1.8, I think. So this is about the circle of this thing in the middle. So uh, which means that this here, if I use 1.8, I 
I should get to the center right there. So let me draw a line in the center. So I don't need this one here. So actually, let me see if we had a diameter there. Yeah, it's just about there. Not perfect, but this will do. So we have this as the center line and this as the shape. So I want to use the shell tool in order to create this interesting shape. So in the design tab, find the shell tool and I will make it a simple one, which is going to be 300. I think it's enough for this kind of shape and the architect chose the material to be timber. I'm going to use timber structural. And then in the model, I can decide to have uh, the horizontal kind of uh, shape, which is in flow board or one or three. Any of that should be able to work. So that's just about it. And I say, okay. And for this thing, I think I need to choose the second option here. Actually, we, we need it to be the revolve the revolve eh? so when we go back to the settings we need to change to change to to check the round dome that's all we need something like that and the second option such that we are able to revolve around so all we have to do is space click this one right here and then use this center axis to to draw holding down shift and we are done. So we have the, we put, so and now we put in the angle by which we want to revolve. So it's going to revolve by 360 and we have there our shape. So what does it look like? We need to bring it close here in the floor plan such that we can see it in elevation. So let's choose one of these elevations, right click open in new tab. And we have ourselves this shape here, which is obviously the other way around. So control E to rotate and bring it above. So this is it actually. So we have ourselves a nice shape. So this is uh, the ground floor. This is the first floor and this is the basement of this thing. So if I bring a copy of this uh, section, I need this copy to be right here in one of these elevations or section, whichever you may choose. So we have uh, something like that. So, and actually we need this to be, uh, we need this to be for on top of that. Yeah. So we have ourselves the first ground floor, the first floor, and second floor like that, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's look at what it looks like in 3D. So in 3D, we have ourselves uh, the heart of the project, which is this uh, tree shape. And in context, I did um, model the rest of the things. This is what it looks like. And I think I am kind of impressed uh, the way it actually does look. So the final image from uh, from the photos that were taken look like this. And uh, our problem that we have with our model is that we have some stretching in the texture. So it doesn't look quite like this. And in order to get something closer to what we have, uh, you can see that we have some stretching in the material. Even here, it doesn't quite represent correctly and um, for that in the final section you can watch uh, how you can deal with that so it may not be as easy for us to get something that is concentric a texture that is concentric like this one right here and uh, for in order for us to be able to create it, I have um, a simple recommendation. Uh, if you're really particular about this kind of texturing is actually to do the grooves themselves to give the form a uniform color and then you just do the physical grooves. So here is what I mean. So I am going to use um, a simple shape here to show you. Uh, a single 
wood panel what it would look like maybe it's about 150 in height 150 for for one single panel we need to get it vertical 150 good and then about 75 thick and then uh the groove after that panel is going to be about i'm going to use like 25 by 25 like that's like an inch by an inch uh, kind of groove between so i don't need this panel but i just need to multiply this groove across the whole profile of this thing so i can with the selected control u for multiply i think i have attached uh, some shortcuts below if you are interested to know some of these things so after that you can multiply um drag copies and spread them uh, by picking a, a, a path first and then you rotate to that path and uh, it should be because we we used 150 plus the 25 which would be 175 right so we say okay so we can pick this as the path and begin to multiply these things across here so those are the grooves that are supposed to be along that that space right there so in order to find them easily i can group it by ctrl g so that it's easy for me to select them and modify them in case uh, but even before we continue we have a problem let me see like this this will be a problem for us because there's a gap uh, in between these so what we want to do is to overlap this so let's do that again but first we need to overlap this let's also extend the 25 also outward control u to multiply with uh, the figure over here 175 check pick path and then rotate to path and then we pick this path and then we draw along this thing right here all the way up to the eve so we have that control g to group and what i needed what i was interested in is to have that over overlapping and uh, the thickness of this thing is going to be we need to make a copy control d by control again in order to have that we paste it in the same place but we can offset by 300 so now we have a nice offset across there for the thickness of the structure that we want to create all right so all i need is to take these that i have created in the complex profile to create that complex profile so let me copy this by ctrl c i go to options element attributes and profile manager i create a new profile this one i'm going to call the apple tree okay and i say okay and then in here just ctrl v to paste and there you are it's pasted in and i can come in and close off this first part and this second part right here great and using a fill which is going to be a timber because it was the decision of the uh, architect to have a timber structure and also timber paneling we can remove this stuff a bit and uh, you see the sections where we intersected have been subtracted from the from this part which is exactly what i was looking for so let's position this thing relative to this um, hot spot here which is the x here uh, well meanwhile i don't think we need this stuff so we can just select them and delete them for now and let's move this so this is uh the shape that we do have and you can see that it's pretty detailed and it is going to be revolved so uh for th the shape we are going to use i think yeah a wall sh should be able to work and then i say save so if we go back to the ground floor uh we can decide to draw it from the ground or even if so by story settings we also had a basement below if we had a basement here this this is ground this is first and this is uh second that 
it doesn't have a second it's just the roof i think anyway say okay and then we go to the basement and this is where i want to draw so in order for us to see the reference above we can choose reference above current flow and this is where the sort of the shape is going to be so we go to design we pick a wall and this wall is going to be in the settings a complex one which is going to be the apple tree there you have it so we say okay and we begin to draw so i am going to pick about three points so this is enough and one more point should be somewhere like there and there. So now that that is drawn in, I go ahead and round out these areas. And in order for me to round them out, I need to Alt G in order to temporarily suspend group or by checking this thing right here. Uh, and then I round out this by clicking and selecting this guy right here and place it um, across here this one as well need to be needs to be rounded out finally there so in elevation this is what you have and uh, you can see the contrast between this this flat one and this one which is a bit more detailed pretty cool huh so let's look at it in 3d so this is uh what we have and uh, now you can put in a flat color for this one and still it would look nice because there's a bit more more detailed compared to the other one and this is what it looks like in context and i am pretty impressed uh just how much more detailed it feels and looks and uh, that is it for this video subscribe if you haven't give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye